Salvador Anglada, CEO E and Enterprise. Thank you very much, Amy, for joining us here at Economy Middle East. Thank you. Now, connecting everything is one of the key themes here at the event. And as an emerging telco, how is EAND contributing to build the ecosystem? Especially EAND Enterprise has played a key role in smart city projects and digital transformation, particularly in the public sector. Well, it's, it's not only it's EAND. I mean, uh, and of course, I mean, when we talk about ecosystem, it's EAND. And I always like to say that we are the backbone of this uh, digital transformation because of our network, the spread of our network, the coverage, um, um, the speeds. Uh, uh, it's uh, very important in any single economy that wants to digitalize the services. Also, we are a little bit hurt of the, this, uh, this ecosystem because we have also not only the network, but the data centers where we have, I mean, the cloud players. And today, I mean, the places where you process, for instance, and train the AI uh, model. So those are... Uh, part of the ecosystem. And then we have Ian Enterprise, which is the company that I lead, which is the one that is able to implement the big uh, uh, national uh, uh, projects, the large scale national projects, uh, smart cities, uh, we have the people, we have the expertise, we have the platforms, we have the, the, the technology. And, mm -hmm. and we have run a very uh, big projects uh, on the smart city side. We have digitalized uh, some of the big uh, uh, free zones in, in, in uh, UAE. We have a uh, fire alarm national projects connected to our platforms. We have also modernized the, the grid. So the, the, the backbone is there, the heart is there, and then we have a big company that I need is the one that is implementing all these, all these services. Wonderful. And you mentioned AI with AI in the spotlight throughout the last year. How are you leveraging those opportunities in AI to personalize experiences and to optimize businesses at E and Enterprise? Yeah, the, the yeah personalized hyper personalization AI honestly was there. I mean, not this. It's because of this uh, um, open AI and ChatGPT. Everybody realized the power of uh, AI, but AI was there before on predictive models, and now, of course, what we call uh, large language models and 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 yeah. AI. Um, what we're doing, I think, uh, it's it's been implemented all across uh, uh, the company. We are implementing inside the telcos, and it's very powerful because, I mean, during the years, we have been able to implement more than hundreds, uh, more than 400 uh, use cases. We have 100-plus uh, 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 data scientists. We work on, on all what is related to customers. I mean, chunk perversion, uh, uh, CBMs or uh, customer value management, uh, what we call next best action for the customer. So there is a big implementation, a big knowledge. We, uh, on our side, which is uh, uh, Ian Enterprise, what we're doing now is use these models to amplify whatever application and use case that we have. I was mentioning one minute ago, uh, the national uh, fire alarm project that we were running. For instance, we are using this uh, AI to prevent uh, what we call fake alarms in the houses, which are very annoying. And uh, it's a source of uh, extra uh, spend uh, for the uh, uh, civil defense that uh, need, I mean, to uh, act uh, and to uh, have a, an action on alarms that are not happening. Thanks to AI, I mean, what we're doing is uh, eliminate all this noise, all these uh, uh, potential fake uh, uh, examples. And also we're using now AI inside IAN Enterprise and uh, all across IAN to enhance and improve the productivity of our people. Uh, very, very important as well. So all across uh, for our customers on the telco, for our customers on the enterprise side and the big government projects, or internally for our people, I mean, there is a big uh, usage of uh, AI. For e and Enterprise moving forward, where do you see opportunities to grow and expand, especially in terms of spearheading the digital innovation and the transformation space? Well, definitely AI is the, is the, is the big topic. And I believe we are also implementing something we call it the AI as a service. So we're helping some cost customers that are maybe not so big that for them is complicated to invest in platforms or in people. So we're trying to provide them all what they need. We help them to build up the, the models. Another area that we see a big, big potential is in the data management. We realize and customers realize that either you have your data and you are able to uh, uh, get your data in one place and homogenize and get a structure and not structured data. Uh, and you, you clearly, I mean, uh, 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 structure that properly or you will not be able to get the potential 
of um, artificial intelligence. So data management and that data structure is a big area where I see everybody looking for in terms of prepare the company for uh, digitalize all what they are doing. The third area that we see a lot of potential is not in the AI side, but on the sustainability side, which is this big um, uh, now uh, effort uh, everybody to uh, become more sustainable. And again, what we're doing here is uh, provide this uh, um, uh, uh, offering and helping customers on telling them what they need to do, providing the platform so they can track what they are doing, providing the solution. So those are the three topics uh, that I think are important. And for medium-sized company, what we're trying to do is to facilitate them to access to all these technologies. Wonderful. And uh, last but not least, what are some of the key takeaways from MWC this year? And the second part of that, what do you see as key disruptors in technology, uh, in the technology industry moving forward? Well, the key takeaways are the same of, uh, yeah, the disruptors. The big key, I mean, the topic of this uh, uh, Mobile World Congress is artificial. Yes, everybody's talking about that. Large language models, small language models, how to train uh, the, uh, the different models, how to apply it and create use cases. It's all across. I mean, you cannot find any single company not talking about that. Second topic that I see very, very important, and it's coming back, is the infrastructure, which means the limitation of infrastructure to uh, apply AI, uh, chipsets, uh, GPUs. Uh, and it's a big topic because, I mean, either you have that or not, you will have a big um, a, a, a bottleneck in order to, and there is a big um, a, a talk about how other companies are going to be able to uh, uh, increase, I mean, the, the level of innovation in order to have the, the, the product and the services uh, ready. Third, I would say it's all about cybersecurity again. It's about everything on the cloud, so applications as a service, uh, um, uh, everything connected. Uh, and uh, when everything is connected, uh, you need uh, uh, to uh, enhance and increase uh, uh, real-time threat uh, uh, intelligence, uh, detect and respond uh, whatever uh, incident is happening. So big investment again, a big offering in how, I mean, all these solutions will prevent all these cybersecurity and things. So the, 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 the good news for us, I mean, is that all this that is happening today, I mean, is very much part of our offering. Um, uh, well, there is another point that is very important, I believe I didn't mention, which is personalization, hyper-personalization, which is related to AI, but it's about tailor-made the offer for our customer. Everybody wants to think how they can personalize offering, uh, support, uh, attention, whatever is related to customers. And I would say, I was uh, telling that uh, the good news is that for us, the, 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 the offering that we have at Anian Enterprise match very well with what we're doing. Our engage uh, uh, proposition is related to this hyper-personalization, our cybersecurity offering and our um, um, companies that are uh, working on cybersecurity services are very well equipped to help, I mean, on all these uh, um, uh, uh, disruptors situations that the companies are facing now, nowadays. Salvador Anglada, thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Economy Middle East.